Hey everyone, Amanda Anderson here, Director of Marketing at Pyro Consulting and co-host of the Hire Fire podcast. Here at Pyro, we focus mostly on IT staffing. And through the years, specifically the last two years, we've heard some new stories of uh, things that didn't go so well in jobs. Uh, it's just something our recruiters and our account managers hear all the time because we're around it so much. So today I want to share with you a few of the pitfalls we've heard of remote work or work from home. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, welcome back everybody. So it's been a few years since COVID first hit and we made this massive transition to working remote or from home. Uh, and it's been good. We've actually proven that as a workforce, we can continue to forge ahead, get our work done. For some, they even worked more because the work was you know, readily available. Now, always there's always the flip side to every coin right so on the other side there are people who cannot handle it who are not good at it and have had a few run-ins with uh, having to go on maybe personal improvement plans pips or had to be let go entirely so some of those things that we've heard uh is just distractions i mean you're home right you're 15 feet from the fridge you're 20, maybe 20 feet from your bed. There is the dishwasher that needs to be filled, the laundry that needs to be changed. Maybe a vacuuming should be done because something got spilled. There can just be a lot of distractions. And so that can be a pitfall for sure for getting work done and uh, being on meetings or just not working enough hours. The other ones we've heard are a lot of time wasting or on social media. That one's always been there, but now again, you're home, you are not being watched to the same degree. It's very easy to fall into that trap of socializing, maybe you're texting more uh, on social media and not, again, getting all your work done. Uh, I mentioned also napping. Don't forget uh, if you need to be available specific hours throughout the day, a nap might not be the best option, if you're taking your lunch break and want to take a nap, uh, we have had a situation where routinely someone forgot to set an alarm and they nap for like two to three hours. So just be aware that you do, you can nap on your breaks or rest or do whatever you want, just like when you're at the office, but uh, be sure to set an alarm so you don't uh, go a few hours over your limit. Um, some of the more serious ones, um, the ones that are, you know, immediate let go or severe personal improvement plans, meaning kind of like this is your last chance. Uh, the, the one of the three I want to talk about is alcohol and drug use. So we've had more than one uh, situation where Maybe uh, an, uh, someone had an alcohol problem. Um, not always, sometimes it was just poor choices on a particular date, uh, but it was a you know zero tolerance situation. It's very easy for, just, for you to say, you know, you're at home or you're remote somewhere of like, well, it's four o'clock, close enough. Well, then that becomes three and then it becomes two. And before you know it, uh, for some people, that can uh, begin to be a lunch situation. Don't do it. It's an easy thing to fall into. And, uh, you know, when no one's watching, kind of the when the cat's away, the mice will play situation. So be careful with that one. Um, one I'm a little surprised with, but is the first time we've really had to deal with this because of, of being remote. Are workers uh, or employees doing, working two jobs while remote? Um, not really putting in a full time on either of them, but still kind of getting away with it. Do not do this. Like I can't ex express that strongly enough. Um, you will absolutely lose the ability to work with us if that happens, um, but that would be any recruiter. If that happens, you, you they wouldn't wanna place you again. And it's just 
you will get caught. It's a, it's one of those things where it can only last so long and really ruin your reputation. So please do not do that. Uh, this very last one's a little touchy for me, uh, but you're at home. Uh, perhaps you're on a conference call or, you know, you're just listening in to something and you're supposed to be muted and you get distracted by maybe some X-rated content or X-rated behaviors. Um, this is hands down immediate termination situation. Please do not look at things like porn or engage in X-rated uh, activities, even if it is your spouse. You are working for, for all of these things when you are remote, uh, whether you're working from home or kind of doing the vacation thing, the, the workcation thing where you're somewhere nice. Uh, remember, you are literally at work, just transported somewhere else. So you are on the clock, you are on their dime at that moment. You need to conduct yourself the same way as if you are sitting in the office. I did it with my staff when we went through the remote work and most can handle it. But yes, there are a few who you're, you're made for in the office. So just be careful, uh, just pay attention to, you know, we've had seven, I've mentioned about six or seven here um, that we've experienced with some of our uh, people we've placed over the last few years. Just be careful and good luck out there. Until next time. Thank you for listening to the Higher Fire podcast brought to you by Pyra Consulting. Check us out on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or online at pyraconsulting.com. That's P-I-R-A consulting.com.